Hi all. In this video, I will show you how to make all the fields in a form to read only. So, as you can see, in some cases, for example, in a sale order, when you click on invoice of a done sale order, you can still edit some parts like reference. Uh, you can change the salesperson, sales team, in code term, etc. All these fields you can edit even after uh, doing a sale order, confirming a sale order. So, in some cases, you might have to make it all read only. And as you may know, you can select the attributes of each field, but some cases you may, might want to uh, make the all the fields read only. So, I am discussing about that case and I will show you how you can achieve that. Before in this case, now let us uh, write a function for this button. If you look at this button, you can see the button's name is action view invoice. So we will search that in our source code. Action view invoice. Here you can see there is a record which already uses this so let us take that and let us change to our own code so inside this we will first close all the okay. we'll change the name So, also to invoice read only. More or less, sale dot order and the inferred is the same. And this is the button we want to replace. So, we will make the position as replace so that we can add an extra context to it. So let us search the original button code. So this is the original code of the button. We will take that and we will replace it by adding one more context to it. So in this context we will write context equal to In the turn view read only and I will set this as true and the rest remains the same so after doing that we will have to make some changes in the model of invoice. So the model of invoice is account dot move. So what we want to do is that when you click from this invoice, this button, all the fields should be read only. So let us make an account dot move. Okay. So let's see. libraries which is from LXML we import e tree we'll also import JSON and import simple JSON so 
so now we will take the function called fields view get so that is a function used in all models for rendering the views for the XML so we will use that And use the context just super the function like normally UID now we will take the context and write a corresponding function for the query. So the context we gave was turn view read only. So we will check that context dot get. Read only. It checks for the context value and if it is true, it will return the form like we define so only in this button case the context of context value of this turn view read only be true because we only wrote for this button so when we click on that button we will write the code for what should happen so for that now we will set a variable doc equal to e tree dot xml and inside this class we will take this architecture okay put those in quotes okay now we only want to see this in the form view we don't want any read only content in the tree view so we will just write if view type equal to equal to form And inside that we will open a for loop which is for node in doc dot x path field so this will give us all the values of the fields and all the modifiers and such so inside that we will set node dot set read only comma one now we will uh, set the dot values
node dot get modifiers because this read only invisible etc comes inside the modifier now we will make this modifiers into a dictionary because we get it as a string which is in a dictionary format we will make it into a dictionary so after that we can set these modifiers for each fields using this node.set So before setting that you will have to make it make the modifier called to read only to true. Just modifiers of read only equal to true. So it just adds the modifier read only for all the field. So node.set modifiers chroma simple json dot dumps and we will just pass in the modifiers which is the modifiers now after doing all of that and after the for loop we will just set it using to string of the dog we will return the rest So that is how we do it by adding the read only attribute for the modifier. So let us test it out now. Try and install it first. As you can see now, you can still edit the things. So we will install it. And now when we go to the sales and you click the action view invoice button try to edit as you can see you are not able to edit the fields so if you go to other info you cannot do anything to these fields so you have to mind that this comes from the property of that button so let us see if we take this invoice and we find the same invoice in the invoice invoicing app you go here you can edit it as normally because it is exclusive to that invoice button from the side order so this is how you can make all the fields read only based on a specific button thank you if you are interested in knowing more about this 
or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.